okay in this video i will tell you the step by procedure to solve the problems on go and no go gauge design in the previous video i would uh, tell you the uh, what are the um, uh, theory part regarding the designs of gauges in that uh, in that way, i would have explained the work uh, work allowance gauge maker to, uh, tolerance uh, gauge maker tolerance and wear allowances and difference between the tolerance and the allowances okay um, by continuation to that uh, video uh, this is the stepwise uh, i will explain the stepwise procedure to solve the problems related to the go and no go gauge design it is very important and they may ask for 8 to 10 marks in the examination because it's compulsory question in the answer very easy so uh, you would have already know the concept uh, you already know the procedure to solve the problems on limits and uh, limits fits and tolerance so same like that of here one, one of the procedure is there stepwise procedure uh, so in the step in step one to calculate the upper and lower limit of the given shaft or the hole for example in the, in the here here he has asked 30 plus 0 0.02 minus 0 0.02 mm so 30 plus means what this is 30 represent what this is the basic size and this uh, uh, this will be the maximum limit and this will be the minimum limit so this is the maximum this will be the minimum so you, you come to know maximum means what upper limit and minimum mean, mean means what lower limit so this represent what upper limit and this one represent what lower limit so the upper limit represent what the basic size plus maximum limit so on the lower size is what basic size minus of minimum limit so that will that, that will that will be the step number one if the step of the diameter is given with type of hole and shaft then the upper limit and the lower limit can be calculated same as that of the calculated in the problems related to the limits fits and the tolerance okay <coughs> next in the step number two to calculate the work tolerance and the gauge maker tolerance so gauge maker tolerance also same and gauge, uh, and gauge tolerance also same we will explain the theory part i will, I will tell you uh, i told you right uh, so in this regard uh, the to calculate the work tolerance and the gauge maker tolerance so what tolerance, tolerance formula is equal to what upper limit minus of lower lower limit for example if i would draw uh, draw the, just i will show you one example here here this is the hole so this is the what maximum limit so up to here this is the maximum and this will be the minimum so difference of these two the shaded part this is what the tolerance i have i tell right so work tolerance is equal to what upper limit uh, minus of lower limit and the gauge maker tolerance is what and then 10 percent of the uh, work tolerance so in the gauge maker tolerance the uh, tolerance on the gauge is allowed to what i uh, will explain in the concept of uh, gauge tolerance or gauge maker tolerance i told right the tolerance on gauge is allowed to cater for the degree of skill with which the gauge is being manufactured so this concept you can call as what gauge tolerance that is the 10 percent of the work tolerance that is the step number two now step number three to calculate the wear allowance to calculate the wear allowance wear allowance and, and it is calculated by the formula of what is not a formula it's just a 10 percent of the gauge maker tolerance in the previous step you have, you would have calculated the gauge maker tolerance for that value again 10 percent of the gauge maker tolerance so over overall if you find out with respect to work tolerance means 1 by 100 here 1 by 10 uh, uh, I, have sh I have shown in the figure right uh, one, once again i will show you here see x divided by 100 that is where alliance here work tolerance x by 10 and uh, x by 100 for for no go and go gauge for with respect to hole and the with respect to shaft i have shown right same like that of here <coughs> And the step number four, it is very important to calculate the dimensions of the go and no go gauge for a shaft and for a hole. For a shaft is what dimensions of the go gauge is what upper limit minus of wear allowance and the dimension of no go gauge is what is equal to lower limit. And for hole, upper will be the go, no go and lower will be the go like that of dimension of the go gauge limit is what lower limit plus of wear allowance and dimension of no go gauge is what upper limit. So in the figure in the just to uh, in the in the previous figure i have shown the right for uh, for the shaft and the for the hole and the last step in the step number five uh, we have we have to design a go and no go gauge gauges in that in that first uh, first we have to write the what are the limits for the go and no go gauge uh, so limits nothing but what uh, what is the go go gauge size and what is the tolerance and limits of the go gauge uh, we, we would have represent like this what is the limits of the go gauge 
after that and for no go gauge size is equal to how much and what is the tolerance and limits of the no go gauge after writing of these two i give you to draw the diametric representation of the same so this is this is the overall the step wise procedure to solve the go gauge no go gauge in the next video i will explain you by taking one problem it is a important problem related to the uh, uh, go and no go gauge design sorry related to and also related to with respect to hole or with respect to shaft in same problem only i will explain for both hole and the shaft okay thank you